Equifax. Some people know them as a credit reporting agency. Others know them as a player hater that stops you from buying your couch. <laughs> well, you may remember that they were at the heart of a massive data hack, and now we're finding out how it all went down. Good evening. It was one of the biggest cyber attacks in history, stealing the personal information of nearly half of all Americans, from our social security numbers to birth dates. Now, in a stunning announcement, the U.S. Justice Department is accusing a branch of the Chinese military with the 2017 hack of the credit rating company Equifax. The Chinese team hid their tracks by using 34 servers in nearly 20 countries. The FBI believes China also hacked Marriott, the U.S. government's personnel office, and insurance giant Anthem, as it builds a massive database on every American. That's right. China is allegedly stealing people's private information to build a massive database on every American. And you know somewhere right now, Mark Zuckerberg is like, back off, China, that's my thing. <laughs> but seriously, though, I don't, I don't understand this. Like, China is beating the U.S. in everything right now. Why would they steal Americans' information? And this is just to rub it in everyone's faces, you know, just like, ha-ha, I know the answers to your security questions. Your first car was a Kia, what a bitch. <laughs> What's even weirder is that they say China also may have hacked Marriott. And I mean, I get credit agencies, insurance companies, and the government, but why are they hacking hotels? What, are they just gonna tank the U.S. economy by adding charges to the minibar? Is that what they're doing? <laughs> no, because let's be honest, like, everyone is just three Toblerones away from bankruptcy. We're out. <laughs> Those minibars don't play. And I know some people were saying that China's doing this so that they can steal Americans' identities. Yeah, but if that's true, the joke's on them, because half of Americans are in debt. Yeah, so if the Chinese steal those identities, it's gonna backfire. It's like, I am Brian Taylor now. It's like, okay, Brian Taylor, you over Verizon $400. No! <laughs> All right, moving on to some education news. Every public school struggles to raise money for its students and teachers. But a fundraiser at one elementary school in California might have backfired. Disney sent a $250 bill to a California elementary school after it showed last year's remake of The Lion King at a PTA fundraiser. On Thursday, a Berkeley elementary school received a letter from Disney's licensing agent, and the letter ordered the school to pay the money for screening the movie last November without a license. The Disney place wanted some money because they own, like, all of the movies. They showed the movie that they own, so they want the $250. Well, kind of, they kind of want the $250. Oh, no, young man. Disney doesn't kind of want the $250. <laughs> Disney's gonna get the $250. Yeah, right now, somewhere Yoda is like, my money bitch better have. <laughs> so, yeah, Disney sent a $250 bill to an elementary school for showing The Lion King. Meanwhile, the producers of Cats are giving $250 to every school <laughs> that shows their film. Please, play the movie, play the movie. Please, you can use this instead of spanking the kids. We're not monsters. <laughs> Now, I'm, like, this is what's getting... I'm sure there are many schools in America that play Disney movies and don't get busted. So what I want to know is, who snitched? <laughs> huh? Is there, like, one kid who had one of those toy phones that calls Mickey Mouse directly? It was just like, Mickey, I got some valuable information. <laughs> Mickey was like, woo -hoo, I'm on the way. I'm gonna break some kneecaps. <laughs> it's like, who was this kid? All right, and finally, Valentine's Day is just three days away. So, first of all, if you were planning to break up with someone, too late, now you have to wait another week. <laughs> but if you've already been broken up with, here's a little gift you can get for your ex. Valentine's Day fast approaching, and we have the perfect idea for a very unique gift or a way to get back at an ex. The Bronx <laughs> Zoo is once again letting people name a Madagascar hissing cockroach after their partner. That <laughs> gift will only cost you 15 bucks. If you're looking for a way to feel better about a recent breakup, zoos in San Antonio and El Paso, Texas will name a cockroach <laughs> after your ex. <laughs> then check this out. You can watch a live stream of that roach being fed to an animal. Really? Really? Man, I feel bad for the cockroaches. They can survive a nuclear war, but they can't survive Alan and Janet's Saturday at Ikea. Really? <laughs> and I'm sorry. But anyone who does this deserves to get dumped. They deserved it. Yeah, because you clearly don't know how to deal with your feelings. It's like, Melissa thinks I'm too emotional? Well, I'll show her by making a cockroach die. 